When it comes to tuning a fuel-injected motorcycle, you've basically got two choices. You can install a piggyback module like a Power Commander, or you can have your ECU reflashed by a company like Flashtune. Today in RevZilla, we'll explain the tech and discuss the pros and cons of each option. Welcome to the new TSM set. We've been working on this for a long time and frankly, it's not quite done yet. I mean, we don't have a lot of tools in the toolbox and if there's a uh, echo, that's because there aren't enough motorcycles in the shop. However, we are set up enough to bring you today's topic, which is tuning a fuel injected bike via either a power commander or a flashed ECU. And to talk about that, we're gonna need some ominous lighting. Before we begin, I am legally obligated to inform you that both a power commander and a flashed ECU are illegal for road use since they alter your engine's exhaust emissions. These devices manipulate your engine parameters so they might also void your factory warranty. Obviously, it's gonna be important that you check your local laws and talk to your dealer before you proceed. With all that out of the way, you might be wondering why you'd wanna put a tune on your bike in the first place. More power and improved throttle response are what most people are after, and you get that by optimizing the fuel and ignition curves of your bike. Because even in stock form, government regulations plus liability and reliability concerns on the part of the manufacturer mean your motorcycle probably isn't performing as well as it could in a world with, say, no speed limits or concerns over greenhouse gases. And of course, if you've changed out your stock exhaust for a full race pipe, or if you've installed a high flow air filter, or done any motor mods like a big bore or cams, then you gotta adjust the fuel and ignition timing or you're leaving power on the table. But getting a tune isn't just about optimizing performance mods, it's also about keeping your engine safe. Because if it's running lean, therefore hot, due to changes to the intake or exhaust system, that could damage your motor. To tune a modern EFI bike, you either get the ECU reflashed or install a piggyback module like a power commander. Piggyback means it sits on top of the existing stock hardware, literally. The Power Commander's wiring harness plugs into the fuel injectors and other sensors, and the module manipulates the signal so that the ECU makes the desired changes to the fuel and ignition curves. On the other hand, you can get the ECU flashed, and Flash Tune is by far the biggest name in this field. With a reflash, the code within the ECU itself gets rewritten. Look at it this way. A power commander is like wearing glasses. The glasses alter the light before it hits your eyes, and they work pretty well, right? On the other hand, you've got an ECU flash, and that is like getting LASIK. They're literally going in there and changing things at the source. And because a flash cracks into the ECU programming, there are so, so many more parameters that can be adjusted. Sure, you've got the fundamentals of fuel and ignition control, but a reflash can also remove speed limits, change the rev limiter, change when the cooling fan comes on, and also do a lot of other things. And it does it all with the stock components, so there's no additional wiring or hardware to install. So an ECU flash is undeniably more advanced and comprehensive, and generally speaking, it costs about 250 to 300 bucks to have a shop perform a flash, which is actually cheaper than buying a power commander. However, there aren't flashes available for every application. It's mostly just Japanese sport bikes, and if there isn't a licensed service center nearby to do the work, you're going to need to remove your ECU and mail it in. And that means your bike's gonna be out of commission for a while. Alternatively, you can buy a kit to reflash your ECU yourself at home. That costs about $380, and you'll need a PC to run the flash tune software. Now, I do wanna point out that since a reflash gives you so much control over so many parameters, if you start going in there and exploring and changing settings, you have the potential to really screw stuff up. So, for ECU tuning beyond a standard reflash, it's definitely best to go to a professional. With a Power Commander, the cost of admission is usually between $350 and $400, and Dynojet has modules to fit pretty much any bike you can imagine. Now, it comes pre-programmed with a base map for your bike, which is really nice, and there are plenty of alternative maps out there to match whatever mods you make to your motorcycle down the road. However, you will need the free Dynojet software as well as a PC to make any changes. Once you have a Power Commander, all you have to do is install it. And while the kit has detailed instructions, it's still a huge pain in the ass since you have to remove the bodywork and tank to plug everything in. But another benefit to the Power Commander is that you can reverse that whole process and remove the module anytime you like and be back to stock. Okay, that's a high level crash course on the two most popular options for tuning an EFI bike and the pros and cons for each. 
Hopefully that clears the air on the topic, answers any questions you may have had, and helps you make a more informed decision if you decide to modify your bike.